Four scores and seven years ago, our father brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, assessing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a, a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a large sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggle here have consecrated a far above our poor power to add or detract. <coughs> the world will little know or know nor long remember that we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thought for so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task rema remaining before us, that from these honor that we take increased devotion to that cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these that shall not have died in vain, that these nations under God shall have a birth, a new birth of freedom, that and that government of the people by the people for the people shall not perish from earth.